Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Kay. I'm coming at y'all. I'm back. It's been a minute. It's been a couple of weeks since I actually made a video. And uh, you guys know, probably the last time you see me, I was probably about 33, 32 weeks pregnant. And fast forward however many weeks later, I have had the baby. My little girl Chloe, I'm so proud, I'm so happy. So, you know, during the end of the pregnancy, you get tired and I was just very lazy. I didn't feel like recording and I wasn't enthused to do anything on camera. So, now I'm back. Hi guys. Anybody that's new that's subscribed to me, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, hey to all my older subscribers. Thanks for, you know, continuing to watch. So, this video here, I want to talk about my current favorites. I didn't get a chance to do a couple of months favorites, so I just wanted to basically, you know, collectively tell you guys what have I've been obsessed with lately. So wait, I need. So we're gonna go ahead and get into my favorites. First thing I want to talk about is oh my goodness, first thing on my list, first, first, first thing on my list. I finally, finally got the beauty blender. What I did was um, on Amazon, if you have a wish list on Amazon, you can always check and see when the prices fluctuate because on Amazon the prices never stay the same. So they let you know whether or not there's been a change in the price. So the two pack, it actually dropped down to like $22. So I jumped on it because you know, for one, it could be $19.95. So for two, I paid $11 for each basically. And that one on top is wet and it's dirty, but I'll show you the, oh, Belly. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll go ahead and show you the clean one. And I did get the black set, which is the Beauty Blender Pro. I went ahead and chose the black one. I really wanted the black one, actually, and that's the one that I had in my wish list. Um, I wanted the black one because it doesn't show the dirt as much. I mean, you can see I used it and it's dirty, but it doesn't show as much. And this Beauty Blender is the truth. When I tell you, y'all know I always use the little, you know, the eBay sponges and all the different little sponges. And I do, I still keep them. I store them in there as well, but towards the bottom. So this is how it looks when it's actually stored on my dresser. The dirty one at the top so I can have easy access to it. And I just store it up there. But the Beauty Blender, I swear, the texture of it, it feels so soft. And it blends like nobody's business. <laughs> I'm telling you, this thing blends like something serious. I did use it today. I used it just um, for my concealer and my highlight stuff. I love this beauty blender. I'm telling you, it's the truth. If you never tried the original beauty blender, the actual legit one, it's definitely worth it. So check out Amazon and, you know, put it in your wish list and then, you know, check and see when the price is fluctuating. You can get it at a good deal as well. My next obsession would be my MAC palette here. And you can see that I haven't really filled it up as of yet. I'm going slowly, but as you can see, I have all neutral colors there. That first one is rice paper, that soft brown, brown script, um, espresso, and sorry, I can't remember what the last one is. I don't even know. This might be espresso, and I don't know what this one is, but I know. I don't remember. I'm sorry about that, but these I've been, I always use rice paper. I used it today as my under eye highlight, also as the tear duct highlight. Um, soft brown I use as a transition color. Brown script I used in my crease. And then I don't, I think I used this one. I still don't remember the name, but I did use this one just to deepen the outer V a little bit. So that's another thing that I'm obsessed with. The third thing that I'm obsessed with, which I also use today, can you tell I'm obsessed, <laughs> is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cat Palette. And this is what the box looks like. It shows you on the back the different colors that's in there. This palette, oh my goodness, it's so pigmented. This is what it looks like inside. I'm going to bend back the mirror. It comes with a little... A dual ended brush, which you know, I'll never really use the brush, but that's the colors there. And today I went ahead and used these two colors here for this look that I have today. So, yeah, this palette I mean, 
The colors are so pigmented. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a few. See those? Look at that. Look at those three. Oh my goodness. Amazing, I'm telling you. This palette, um, I got it from Ulta. I placed the order with Ulta a couple weeks back, actually, and I think it was like $29 for this palette, and it's definitely worth it. So, if you get a chance, I think it might be exclusive just to Ulta, as well as Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I'm not sure, but definitely check it out if you can get your hands on it, okay? Okay, so the next thing I'm obsessed with, we're going to talk about is my Bobbi Brown Corrector here, and I have it in the color Dark Peach. When you open up the box, it's just, this thing comes with 0.5 ounces, which is 1.4 grams of product, and it comes in that little circle there, this is what it looks like, and as you can see, damn, I'm almost hitting pan already, but I have had this for some time, um, maybe about two months or so, and it's still going strong, I do still have a lot of product there, um, I use this to color correct underneath my eyes. Today, I went ahead and used it for the line across my nose as well, as well as above my top lip, which I have eczema, so it's a little darker there. Um, I normally prefer it only under the eyes, but I figured let me try it for the rest of those dark areas as well, and I absolutely love this Bobbi Brown corrector. I go ahead and color correct before I put any, you know, tinted moisturizer or um, um, BB cream or foundation. I put that on first, put my color corrector on first, and then I go ahead and top it off with, you know, the rest of my products. If I'm going to conceal, I conceal after the fact. So I'll go ahead and put my corrector, I'll put the foundation, and then I'll put the concealer. And that's how I go ahead and use this. So that is the fun. Also, I want to talk about another face product, which is this, um... Maybelline Fit Me Blush, and it's in the shade Deep Wine, and my thing broke, but the shade here is such a gorgeous, beautiful shade for the fall, and that's it there, nice wine color, beautiful shade for fall, and I've been obsessed with this as well, um, as we transition from, you know, the warmer weather to the cooler weather here in the fall. I like to, you know, warm it up. And I, this, I didn't wear this today, actually, so I'm not going to say that. But that is a bomb blush to check out for the fall. Next thing I've been obsessed with are, well, let's use this. Is the Hypnos Drama Mascara. And I got it in the limited edition packaging. I may have... Put this in a hole actually last time I don't remember it's been so long but that's how the wand looks there and I think this mascara is great for the top lashes as well as the bottom lashes the way the, br the brush is made it just works really really well for the all over eyelash look so definitely check that out as well um next thing I am obsessed with is my Ben Nye Topaz powder and I normally use the Topaz to set under eye you know everywhere that I highlight it basically I use the Topaz but today being that I'm on camera and I wanted to get turned up for you guys I went ahead and used the banana powder which as you can see not as much as used with the banana powder as the Topaz but for everyday look and if you're like, you know, if you're a darker skin tone like me, definitely check out the Topaz for a highlight color. It's definitely, goodness gracious, if my battery dies one more time. So let me go ahead and speed through the rest of this so that we can get the rest of this video out. So uh, the next product I want to talk about is the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. That's from the Fergie line. Um, take on the Day Eyeshadow Primer. And the color is for my Primas. I love this eyeshadow primer and for $3, it definitely does a good job of, you know, making sure that you have no creases or anything in your shadow application. So I definitely love that. Um, also for the eyes, I only had this for about a week, but this is actually in the permanent line in MAC, but this one I did get from the Riri 
Hearts Fall collection and it is the Velux Brow Liner Pencil in Deep Brunette. I used it to do my eyebrows today. And y'all know I usually use um, the Dip Down Gel Liner from MAC, but on top of that I do powder and all that, but with one pencil, it takes care of all the application and you don't have to do anything. And one side is the spoolie here and the other side is the actual pencil. That looks like that. I'm gonna, um, if I can't get another one in the special packaging, I'm definitely gonna get the um, one from the permanent line because I'm sure it's the same exact product and it works great. So that's definitely something I'm obsessed with. Uh, the other stuff I wanna talk about is all lip products. Um, I may have mentioned this before, but I pretty much use this liner with every freaking lipstick I have. Okay, so yes, my battery did die. I'm just gonna finish this video up on my laptop. Sorry, <laughs> you know, it seems like whenever I record, it's like so bootleg, but bear with me, guys. I'm on maternity leave now, so I'm gonna have plenty of time to master and make sure that my videos are up to par. But those stupid batteries, I don't know. This camera, I just need a new camera. But anyway, we was on my lips products. So, but my lip products, like I said, you know, I probably mentioned this in favorites before because I use this like all the time. But it's my heroin lip liner. And I don't know, I'm sure everybody's seen heroin, but as far as the liner, this is what the line looks like. That's the line there obsessed with that liner and I use this for like all of the lip products that you're gonna see next so um, I'm sure this has been in my favorites before too but I just can't stop wearing it and it's the two lipsticks from the Rihanna Hearts Mac summer collection this one is in Ho and that's what that looks like it's a beautiful wine color and it's not even coming across the color that it really is but it looks more purple on the screen, but I'm telling you, it's like a deep wine color, but it's limited edition, so you guys can't really get your hands on it. The second one is the Riri Boy. And as you can see, that's much lighter. This is more of the, of the purple tone. Uh, Riri Boy, I've been wearing that like crazy. Uh, the next three things are I'm obsessed with, and this is thanks to Miss Queen Mika28. Um, I'm not sure if you guys watched my previous video where she sent me some love mail, but these were the things that, and you know, I still haven't seen these in the stores by me. It's crazy, but these were some of the things that I had extra to pick up for me. Uh, this is one of the Maybelline Limited Edition Color Sensational lipsticks, and this one is in number 1000 Lavender Voltage. Oh my gosh. See, y'all guys are not getting the color. That's why I wanted to use my freaking camera because you, the color does not look like what it's looking like up on the screen. But this purple color, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll actually see me post a picture of this. But I'm telling you, this color here for lavender voltage, gorgeous. You don't even not, need nothing to top it. You don't need, uh, it's freaking beautiful. The next one is 995 Vited Intrigue. Another beautiful purple color, and that's what it looks like in the tube. This is it here, and I probably did swatch these in the video when I got them from Queen Mika 28. I really don't remember. They look similar, but this one is actually deeper than the other one. They're freaking gorgeous colors. And the last one from the color sensational line that I'm obsessed with is the Raspberry Ablaze. I've been putting this on top of a lot of my lippies actually pretty much like all the lippies that I just spoke about <laughs> I've been topping them off with that and that's it straight across and that's raspberry ablaze um a lippie that I wasn't too happy with is the all may what are they called I don't even know what it's called all may color plus care liquid lip balm they look so pigmented in the tube but they really suck. <laughs> Sorry to say it, but they really do. They're like very, very sheer. 
that's it there. And even that swatch looks good. It looks better than it does on the lips. Maybe my lips are too pigmented. I'm not sure. But maybe if I blend it out, you'll see how sheer it, it gets. Yeah, you see? It like blends to like nothing. So what I've been doing just to use it is I'll line and fill my lips with the heroin pencil. And then I'll just top it off with this if I'm not trying to go, you know, too lipsticky with too much of a, you know, made up look. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about that I'm obsessed with was a gift from my babe and he picked up my Samsung Galaxy X3, X4, S4 I think it is, and the cases that I got from it as well. This is one of the cases that I got and I picked this up from Amazon. It does have a mirror here, lipstick, perfume, it's just a nice cute little case. And I'm going to show you guys a second case that I also picked up. It's the Galaxy S4, actually. And this is my second case that I got for it. That's how that looks. It has like a the Chanel number no. 5 perfume bottle. Um, like a palette, a comb. It's just... It looks, I love these freaking cases that I got for my phone. And my phone is bomb. Um, I was thinking about doing a video to compare the Galaxy X4 to the iPhone 5S because when he bought this for me, he bought the iPhone 5S for himself. So if you guys want to see that video, I can tell you that the Galaxy S4 blows the iPhone out of the box. I'm telling you right now. And I did, I started making a running list as to why my phone is better than his. So if you guys want to see that video, definitely thumbs up and I will definitely get that out to you guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. There's going to be more videos to come. I'm going to be more active. I swear I'm going to put out like a video at least a week or I mean one video, one or two videos per week while I'm out. I'm going to make sure and stay dedicated to that because I do want to show love to my channel. I want to show you guys love because you guys show me love. So I want to definitely do that for you guys. And I thank you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.